Hello and welcome to Coders Column. My name is Sunny Solanki and in today's video I will explain you how to lay out multiple matplotlib charts in one figure in different way. We generally combine multiple charts into one figure to tell a story about data. It gives bigger picture of the data as it highlights few important things together. As an example, let's say that you want to understand the relationship between two data variables as a scatter chart and want a histogram of the data variables as well in the same figure to better understand the relationship. So in this video, we will explain how to create various layouts like this. So without further ado, let's jump to my screen and get started with coding. As you can see on my screen, I already have a Jupyter Notebook open and will be creating charts in Jupyter Notebook. So at the beginning of the notebook, I have highlighted important sections of the tutorial. So we'll be covering these methods plt.subplot, figure.addsubplot, plt.subplots and grid specs. These three are generally used to create different kinds of layout uh, when using matplotlib. So let's go ahead and import matplotlib. So in first cell I have imported matplotlib and printed the current version which is installed on my system. So let's go ahead. Now before I explain you various layouts, uh, we need to load data because we need data to create charts. So I have selected this wine data set which is available from Python library scikit-learn. So this data set has information about various ingredients used in creation of three different types of wine. So let me execute this cell and load this data set. Now I have loaded this data set as pandas data frame and as you can see there are various ingredients name as column names of this data frame and the last column name is wine type which is type of the wine uh, of that particular wine so there are three different wine types class 0 class 1 and class 2 so this column is categorical uh, column of our data right so let's go ahead uh, now i have created one more data frame from our wine df data frame so what I have done over here is that I have grouped the entries of our wine data frame based on wine type which is class 0, class 1 and class 2 and then I have called main function on it. So I have average values of ingredients for wine type and we'll be using this data frame to create various charts. So alright so let's go ahead and get started with the creation of charts. So the first way to uh, lay out multiple charts that I will explain are two methods subplot and add subplot. So subplot methods, so both of these methods let us lay out charts in grid like fashion. So to explain it with a ex simple example, uh, let me import numpy and let's say that I have an array. shape 2 by 2 okay so let's consider this as one figure and we can consider is this as a 2 by 2 figure and each individual element can be a chart so one can be a single chart two can be another chart three and four so when we use subplot and add subplot method we generally create charts in grid like fashion and grids can be of different size it can be 2 by 2 it can be let's say 3 by 3 so over here we can uh, put 9 charts in one figure if we consider this as one figure and then we can put 9 charts over here and we can create different layouts like we can create uh, 2 by 3 grid as well we can create 1 by 4 grid as well So over here we will be laying out four charts next to each other in one row. So many different kind of uh, layouts you can try but all the layouts will be in grid like fashion as I explained over here. So let's go ahead and uh, explain the usage of this subplot and add subplot method. So first of all I will import pyplot API of our from matplotlib. So, Pyplot API is commonly used to create various charts. 
so first of all i will create a figure object so i can do that by calling figure method on plt i will set figure size to let's say 15 by 10 so now in this example i will create a 2 by 2 layout like this one over here and i will put four charts into it so now we have created a figure object now what we can do is that we can use this method subplot and create axis objects using it so first two parameter of this uh, subplot method is number of rows and number of columns so as i want to create a two by two grid i will specify two rows and two columns so two rows and two columns okay and the third parameter is on chart number so chart number generally starts from one and it goes in row like fashion so one two three and four exactly same way as this array so the uh, now when i call this method it will return me an axis object so let me call it ax1 so now what this will do is that it will uh, create a two by two grid and the first chart it will create and it returns it axis object so let me execute this cell and show you so as you can see it has created this axis object now let me show you what kind of object it is so it's an axis subplot object okay so over here uh, we have created one axis object and one axis object is combination of x and y axis on which we can plot charts so what i will do i will create all the four axis objects so over here i will say axis 2 this is our second chart this is our third chart and this is our fourth chart so as you can see i have created four different axis objects and we'll be plotting charts on each of them so first of all let me execute this cell and show you the layout how it will look so all right so as you can see on my screen now we have two by two grid which we specified our two by two and we have lay out, laid out charts one two three and four now what i will do i will create a simple um, bar charts over here so i will create a bar chart showing average values of ingredients from our wine data frame average wine data frame average values of ingredient for wine type so let's go ahead and create a chart so i can say plt dot bar method to create a bar charts for x axis i will say of so I, for x axis i will provide wine type for height i will provide average wine df of so first is alcohol let's use color equal to tomato okay let's give axis labels x label will be wine type and y label sorry and the y label will be average alcohol and let's give title as well to our chat so we can give title to individual chat and the whole figure as well so let's say average alcohol per wine type so let me execute this cell and show you the result so as you can see we have plotted our first chat over here so let's go ahead and plot charts below the axis as well so i will create a four charts in all of this uh, axis and i will use different ingredients from our data frame so for second i have selected is malic acid let's use color as uh, dodger blue average malic acid Okay, for third one i will use there is a ingredient name ash so let's use it let's set color to lime 
Okay. And for the fourth uh, fourth chart, let's use uh, flavonoids. So let me copy flavonoids over here. Flavonoid. Okay, let's use orange color. So uh, as you can see, first of all, we created four axis object and then we have called various plotting methods so we have called bar method on all of them to create a bar charts so let me execute this cell and show you the result so let's see and as you can see here we have our chart with uh, four uh, we have our figure with four charts over here and each one is uh, highlighting average value of the selected ingredient okay so we have our figure ready now let me just give title to figure so there is a uh, method name supper title and let's say average ingredients per wine type okay let me execute this one. Let's see whether it's taking on dict parameter or not. Twenty. Sorry, there is a failure. So I think there is a parameter name font size. Yeah, so there is a parameter name font size in subtitle method, which you can set to a size higher than the other titles to show that it is the title of the figure. All right, so it's that simple to create a figure with multiple subplots using subplot method. Let's go ahead and explain one more method, which we have highlighted, which is add subplot. Now subplot and add subplots are exactly same. The only difference is that we call subplot method from plt so pi plot submodule directly and add subplot method will be called on figure object so let me copy this code and show you okay so we'll be using same code now over here i need to call figure add subplot so only this change i need to do for all of our subplot calls so i have replaced all the subplot plt dot subplot calls with figure dot add subplot calls and this will give me exactly same result as our uh, previous subplot uh, example and figure dot add subplot also create access object just like subplot method so let me execute this cell and show you the result so as you can see our this figure looks exactly same as our previous figure so uh, it's a choices is up to the developer whether he wants to use he or she wants to use subplot or add subplot method now before we move on to our next method uh, it's not compulsory that uh, you use all the axes of the grid so i created over here two by two um, grid and let's say that i don't want to plot chart over here in first row in second position so what I can do is that I can simply remove this code. Don't create access object at all if you don't want charting particular grid location. So I don't want chart over here. So I have removed axis creation and all the code following it. So let me execute this cell and show you the result now. So as you can see now we have our figure object with three charts and here we don't have a chart. So uh, in whichever location you don't want chart just don't create axis object for that location okay so let's move on to our uh, next method which is plt.subplots now plt.subplots works exactly like plt.subplot and figure.add subplot the only difference is that it creates all the axis objects in one go unlike uh, subplot method which creates one axis object so subplots also create uh, uh, 
let us lay out charts in grid like fashion like 2 by 2 3 by 3 2 by 3 and so on so what i will do i will reuse some of our previous code so let me copy this code over here now in case of uh, subplots we can call plt dot subplots method and we can give it a grid size so in our case it's a two by two and it returns two objects figure and axis so let me just copy this one over here and as you can see it returned all the axis object in one go so if i uh, uh, print this one over here as you can see axx over here is array with four axis objects over here so it's a two by two array so now when we uh, use uh, plt dot subplots so we don't need to call this now figure dot add subplots i will remove all the calls okay so now we have all the axis objects so we have four axis objects ready now when we are going to create a chart we need to use this axis object so zero zero we can use array indexing error indexing because it's a numpy array only of axis objects so axis of zero zero and then we call bar method on it the reason behind doing this is that uh, when we used uh, uh, plt dot subplot and figure dot add subplot uh, mandatorily knew that this axis of this axis object is created and it is active now in case of subplots all the axis objects are created and it don't know which one is active so we need to call this method bar on my axis object whichever axis object on which we want to plot bar chart so over here we have called axis of zero zero of bar now same goes for all the methods so uh, when you want to set labels tick labels axis labels titles etc on axis objects you need to call all the method that starts with set underscore so in the previous example like we called over here plt dot x label now when you are calling axis object like this you need to call set underscore x label so all the method names goes like that set underscore y label and set underscore title so this was the first axis and we can do this for so this is zero zero then zero one will be the first row and second second column okay so let me make the changes Okay, now second row and first column. So second row, first column. And now the last one is second row. In second column. So all right, so we are done with the changes. Let me execute and show you the result. All right, as you can see, we have our two by two grid ready. And all the charts are plotted now the uh, figure size is quite small so how we can modify the figure size so there are methods that we call on figure object which is set figure width to set width and figure dot set figure height to modify height so i have set it to 15 by 10 which we are using for all our examples right so now as you can see uh, we have our figure ready with four bar charts and yeah this one looks exactly same as our previous examples 
where we had used figure dot add subplot and subplot method now the choices of selecting which one we want to use plt dot subplots and figure dot add subplot and subplot it's up to developer and you will be using them based on a situation so they can be used in different contexts right so let's move on to our last way of creating layouts now both our previous example lets us create a layout in grid like fashion only so as i explained at the beginning of the tutorial that you can create a layouts in grid like fashion so you can create two by two layout you can create three by three layout you can create two by three layout and in one grid location you can plot only one chart so if you create two by two grid you can put four charts over there but you can't combine you know grid elements so let's say that i have two by two grid over here now i want to create a three charts into this grid my first chart i want to span across first row so i want chart that span across whole first row so and the other two charts are three and four so i want three charts like this in my figure so we can't do that with subplot and add subplot method for that we need to use grid spec so let's go ahead so in order to use grid spec i will copy some of our previous code so let me copy add subplot one now first of all we need to import grid spec now once we have imported grid spec we need to create a grid object grid spec object first so that i will do so let's say I want to create a 2 by 2 grid and for this example let's say that I want uh, one bar chart which span across first row like this and then two other bar charts below it so let's go ahead so we have created a uh, grid spec object now this grid spec object can be treated like a numpy array and we can perform indexing on it so now let's use that grid spec object and create axis object so when we call add subplot method we can provide grid spec object to it and we can uh, index this grid spec object just like numpy array so for this uh, this one for first axis i want first row so this is zero row and i want both columns okay so that i can do using this so let me just cut this code over here and put it over here okay so as you can see uh, so i have given grid spec object to add subplot method and i have asked it to use zeroth column uh, zeroth row and both column so let's execute this cell and show you the result all right as you can see it has created one bar chart which has span across both the columns of the first row so let's go ahead and add two bar charts below it as we had discussed so let's go ahead and let me copy this sys2 now again we will provide a grid object over here to add subplot method now over here it's a second row so location will be one for row and zeroth column so zero so let's just execute this and show you the result as you can see we have our second chart bar chart below it so let's go ahead and add the third chart as well right so over here we will again give grid object and now so second row so index is first and second column so index is first for that as well so let me execute this and show you the result so as you can see uh, here we have our uh, 
new layout where we have a bar chart which is spanning across whole row so when you want to create the layouts like this you will be using grid spec object and remember that we are using grid spec with add subplot method which we discussed earlier all right so this was one uh, layout let's create uh, one more layout so this time let's uh, create a layout where the one bar chart is uh, spanning for in for whole second column like this in the two bar charts over here in the first column so let's go ahead and do that so first bar chart will be right both the columns sorry both the rows but second column so let me just remove this code as of now and show you how it looks right so this is the second column so now chart has span across whole second column so let's go ahead and add two other charts next to it so zero zero will be this chart and then one and zero so the zero column and zero row and zero column which will come over here and first row and zero column will come over here so let me execute this cell all right so here we have another figure with charts layout in different format so you can create uh, various layouts like this that you can put uh, over here you can put like a line chart over here you can put pie chart as well and you can put different kind of charts though we have covered only bar charts where you can put many different chart types so let's go ahead and create one more uh, example of layout and let's uh, uh, do something crazy so let's go ahead now this time i will create a 3 by 3 grid so let me first create a simple numpy array to explain what i am planning to do so let's say I use 1 to 10 reshape 3 by 3. Right, so now this time I want to create a grid spec with 3 by 3 layout and I want to lay out charts in many different ways. So, first of all, I want to create a chart that span across 1 and 4, element 1 and 4. So, first and second row and first column. Okay. So let me go ahead and do that. And this time I won't create chart, but I will just show you the layout. So the row will go to two, the zero and one, and column is zeroth column. Let me execute this. So here we have our first axis object. Now the second chart I want to create that span across whole last row the third row so how can i do that next so to figure dot so this time i will use uh, two indexing which is the third row and all the columns so let me execute this one all right so now we have our chart our figure with charts layout like this so let's go ahead and now I want to create uh, another chart which is spanning across 5 and 6. So let's do that. Let's create a one more axis object. So that's uh, first row and second and third column. So first, this will be first row and second and third column. So first row for first row indexing is sorry, second row, second row. For second row indexing is one. And from one to end means second and third column let me execute this and show you right so here we have our third chart which we can plot over here so let's go ahead and add two more charts so now two and three position two are left so i will keep small two charts in that two positions so axis four will be first row 
and second column and axis 5 will be first row and third column let me modify figure size as well right yeah so as you can see now this one is uh, some new layout so if you want to create layouts like this then you need to use grid spec object using grid spec object you can combine various grid locations which we can't do with simple subplot add subplot or subplots method so before we end this tutorial let's create a one more layout which uh, I had discussed at the intro section of the tutorial where we display like a scatter chart first in between and then we display the horizontal chart uh, histograms above that scatter chart and on the side of that scatter chart. So I will again use a 3 by 3 grid. So let me copy that numpy code again for example, explanation purpose. Okay, so now. I want to create a chart I want to create a figure where the scatter chart will be spanning across 4, 5, 7 and 8. So in this 4 grid locations our scatter chart will be drawn. Then for histogram, first histogram will be spanning across 1 and 2 elements and second histogram will be spanning 6 and 9. Okay. So uh, this can be useful when you want to show relationship between two data variables as a scatter plot and then you want uh, histogram as well of both the variables so that we can we are going to explain in this example so let's create a first axis object which is for scatter chart so it will start from uh, second row second and third row and column sorry yeah for column it will go for till second column only so first so second and third row and first and second column okay so let me execute this one right so here we have our axis object where we can plot our scatter chart so let's create a second axis object where we will plot histogram so for 1 and 2 so it's a 0 row and column it's going till 2 so let me execute this and show you how it looks all right so here we go now we want to create uh, another histogram which will be coming over here so let's go ahead and do that i will create third axis object now in this case rows will be one uh, second and third row and column will be last column which is uh, second according to indexing okay let me execute this cell and show you right so here we go so you can plot a scatter chart over here and then you can plot histogram of uh, quantity which is displayed on x-axis over here and histogram of quantity which is displayed on y-axis over here right so that's it for this tutorial so in this tutorial we discussed various way to lay out charts and how you can create a simple grids like 2 by 2 3 by 3 and how you can combine grid elements if you want to create some different layouts like this one and yeah so that's it for the day if you want to learn more about python then visit our website coders column there we have many tutorials on python and other topics like ai machine learning and so on so yeah see you next time